Hi, I'm Bruce with Wildcat by Forest River, and I'm here today to show you the all-new, completely redesigned 2016 Wildcat. Now, I'd like to start right here at the front of the trailer to show you something that uh, we're very proud of, and this is the automotive painted front cap. Now, this is a gel coat cap here that we have put automotive paint on the front of it, and the reason that we do that, which is different from just your standard gel coat cap, is that gel coat has a tendency to fade after a few years in the sunshine. Automotive paint stops that from happening. So if you take good care of this front cap, this beauty that you see here will stay in these colors for the life of the coach. No, not unlike what you have with your car when you take care of your car and you keep it clean, keep it waxed, the same applies to this front cap. Now, as we move around the side of the coach here, I'd like for you to take a look at the fact that this coach now has the new exterior siding that's called a, a, a cream exterior color. This cream exterior color is a color that allows the coach to have a higher end look from the outside, but it doesn't make the coach so dark that it turns the, the inside of the coach into a, the feel of a microwave in the hot summer days. So as we move on down here, I'd like for you to take a look at things like uh, the fact that we have a very large uh, pass-through luggage compartment with a luggage door with a couple of slam latch uh, catches on it that are held up by two magnets. And the reason that these two magnets are up here rather than just the plastic clips, again, is in those windy situations or as the coach ages in time, those of you that have had RVs, you know that the plastic will fatigue in time and could crack. Well, these magnets will hold these doors up so you don't have the problem with the door flopping down while you're trying to pull your goods out of it and hitting you in the top of the noggin. As we move by here, we've also got a 30 inch wide entry door and the reason for a 30 inch wide entry door is many, many times when you're loading your coach with your groceries or your pots and pans or whatever you're taking in and out of the coach on a, on a normal basis, you need a little more space to be able to go in and out of the coach. So this 30 inch wide entry door allows you to be able to go in with your arms full of all your goods and not have to squeeze through or put stuff down and then go inside and pick it all back up again. It's a very nice feature to have this wider entry door. As we move on down to the slide out, now this particular model is our 29 RLX model. And it is a, a, a completely redesigned floor plan that gives the rear living room effect with a huge entertainment center that we'll see shortly as we go inside. But as we go down here, I'd like for you to take a look and see the fact that this slide, the, the uh, side um, material is a very high gloss. This is a, a high end, it's called Lamalux 4000 high gloss exterior siding. The great thing about this exterior siding that we have on this coach is the fact that there are no pores in this. So when it comes to debris, dust, dirt, and so forth, this will clean very easily. The uh, typical streaks that some RVs will get from pollutants and stuff that run down the side will wipe off of this uh, very easily. It's not the kind that will stick on the side of the coach. So it's a very easy maintenance and it will keep its look and its beauty for years and years to come. Um, Move on down, you see that we try to, to, uh, uh, in, to use as much space as possible. Now this particular slide out houses the, uh, the galley, the kitchen on the inside, as well as the part of the entertainment center. Well, the back of the entertainment center, right in this area, gives us an ability to have an, an additional exterior storage. Not only is it an exterior storage that you have here, but this, this shelf will flip up and lock out of the way. There's a slide lock on it that's where you can lock it out of the way. And then you have a place for an exterior TV right here, because you right here we have included um, a, a cable plug as well as a 110 plug to allow for uh, hooking up an exterior TV so you can have some outside entertainment. Now then, and moving on to the rear, the rear of the coach here, um, I'd like to just simply point out that um, on, the, on the rear of the coach, you have a large window on this particular coach to give you nice viewing while you're inside. So when you're pulled up to your favorite campsite and you have the lake or the, the, the forest behind you, that you can have a, a, a beautiful view of it. You notice also that we have an aluminum ladder on the back of the coach, so you can crawl up on the top of the coach to check your roof, um, to uh, clean your roof and so forth. And that roof is a full walk-on roof up there. Now we deck it from side to side and end to end so when you go up on top of this roof, you can walk the entire roof on this coach without worry of stepping on a soft spot because it's fully decked up there. Now the material that's on the top up there is a 12-year warranty rubber roof. And I say that because a lot of people are concerned about what the roof materials are made of. The rubber is going to, to uh, uh, last much longer than 
uh, some of the other materials that you're used to seeing out there, the, some of the vinyl impregnated roof materials. The sun and the pollutants don't affect this rubber roof like it, like it does a uh, vinyl roof. So it's going to last for years to come, too. All you got to do is just take care of it, keep it clean, like we mentioned on the front cap. I'd like to also point out that on this rear wall, and I'm going to show this a couple of more times. I'm going to make a little noise here. I'm going to hit this rear wall here. As you can see, this rear wall is a laminated rear wall. It's not a soft tongue rear wall. Now, that construction that I just showed you there is throughout the entire construction of this coach, sidewalls, slide boxes, and so forth. And I'll demonstrate it here that you can see that the sidewalls are the same way. And then one of the big features that I love to point out is that when you, when you walk, walk up to a slide box, most of the time when you hit this wall on many competitors in the industry today, it has a soft sound, a boink boink sound. And that's because they don't go to the expense of laminating this box. Now this box, that takes a lot of abuse going in and out over the lifetime of a coach. What this construction allows for this to do is not to fatigue in time of going in and out. The actual stress on a slide box rests on these side panels. And as they age and those side panels weaken if they're soft tongue, the one I mentioned earlier, then they'll start to sag slightly. And then the slide rooms could potentially start dragging and not going in and out like we need them to do. This construction, however, stops that from happening. It makes it strong, makes it durable, and makes it lasting. And not only do we have it, again, in the side wall and the sides of the slide boxes, the outer wall of the slide boxes, but it's also, and I'll show you once we're inside, on the roof of the slide boxes, so we have no issues with a bowing type because gravity pulls on stuff 24-7, so it's not going to have that bowing effect, which could potentially pull away from a seal and give you a gap up there allowing moisture or um, insects or something to get inside your coach. So with that being said, I want to step back here if I could a little bit. And I just kind of want you to take a look underneath the coach here. This was something that, uh, that was uh, brought on by popular demand because of the ease of operation. A Wildcat comes what's called, now this, this is an option on this coach that's called the uh, four-point auto level system and you can see it has the, the round pads at the front jack legs and then it also has the round pads here just aft of the axles here. Now that's your four-point auto level system and it's a very simple process. There's a control board on the off-door side of the coach in the front luggage compartment where there's your control panel and it simply says auto level. So once you're disconnected from your truck you walk back to it, you hit auto level, and in the course of a, approximately a minute and a half, this coach will go through its sequence and giving you a full auto level of this coach, side to side and front to back. Once it gives you the sound, the, the slight beep that says we're level, then you simply go to the rear of the coach on this side, and then you'll see right toward the rear of the coach, there's a black um, toggle switch right there rocker switch, I should say, that um, operates your rear electric stabilizing jacks. Now, I point that out because this is called a four-point auto level, six-point stabilization system, which is very different than what you're used to seeing in the industry today. Our tests have shown that the gap between the rear auto level leg and the rear of the coach is too excess not to have additional stabilization back there. So at Wildcat, we chose to add this additional feature. This is a standard feature on all Wildcats, the electric rear jacks, whether you get the auto level or not. But with the auto level, you now have four-point auto level with six-point stabilization so that when you're spending time in this coach in, uh, in the evenings or inclement weather and you're moving around a lot, you don't feel the movement inside the coach in here. It gives it more of a solid foundation. So it feels like more of walking around when you're like, like it's your home. And if someone's taking a nap up front and someone's, you know, an early riser or a, a, a late night owl, they can sit back here and move around without disturbing their partner up front. Now I'd like to move inside and show you a few of the features that we have inside. Welcome to the beautiful new interior of the Wildcat. This coach, uh, again, is our Model 29 RLX. 
uh, a couples coach that provides a beautiful living area, great large kitchen area, very comfortable bedroom and bathroom. Now I'd like to show a few features inside this coach that I think that the RVer with quality in mind will really appreciate. I'd like to start with the fact that in the galley area here you can see that we use all solid surface countertops in here. Now solid surface countertops are important for most RVers not simply because of their durability but because of the fact of being a solid surface countertop you don't deal with bacteria that you find in most laminate countertops or other countertops like that. The pores in here are such that it doesn't allow for any kind of bacteria to set in here. Um, the kitchen is also provided large, um, the, uh, the large crook neck faucet has the pull out sprayer on there for big pots and pans and so forth. So just like you're used to at home, you've got a single lever control for your hot and cold, the, uh, the amount of water, the volume of water that you have, as well as the spray uh, nozzle part of it or the straight run part of it. So and also in your galley here you can see you have a very comfortable uh, uh, range, microwave, large drawers that you have in here so you have plenty of storage in this Wildcat for all of your goods, your, your uh, flatware, large items, pots and pans. We even call this area right down here the pots and pans drawer so you have a place, a large drawer for those large pots and pans that you'll use. It has a uh, three burner cooktop. Now this is a flush mount range in a Wildcat, the new style that has the glass top, the flush mount that not just looks better, but it, it operates much easier for you. It actually gives you a little more space in here between your vent hood and your cooktop. So if you do have larger pots, that they'll fit in here nicely. But you can see the kind of storage that's provided throughout this coach. And the things that I like to really point out in, this, in, in all of the Wildcat interiors are the quality of the materials that are used in here. Now I'm going to take a quick departure from the fact that we're standing in the galley and show you the features that come inside every Wildcat. And it's, it's one of the, the cliches that I like to use when I'm either showing these to customers or showing it to salespeople at dealerships. And I'll walk in and I'll ask him, i say, when you're in a Wildcat, knock on wood. So I'll reach up here and I'll wrap on the, this, the header of the slides on all sides of this Wildcat as well as in the bedroom. And the reason I do that is I tell them, I said, in a Wildcat, this is all real wood. Now this is actually called fluted, stained, glazed hardwood. Now what that all means is the fluted part is the part where the grooves are that we see. The stained is the stain color of it. And in a Wildcat, this is called Lauren Cherry Interiors. And the glazing part is not like what we have on donuts, the shiny sweet stuff. The glazing part is actually the dark pinstripe that you see, and here's a bold part of it here in this leg going down, again, real wood, that actually gives it the three-dimensional look. So it doesn't look just plain. It actually has some depth to it to give it that richness. And then if you look at the fact that all of our cabinets here, now you'll notice that this is a, a real wood cabinet door. And when I say real wood cabinet door, what I mean by that is the center part, the raised panel, is not a piece of MDF which stands for medium density fiber, which is, for all intents and purposes, it's a pressed sawdust with a foil wrap on it. This is real wood. Again, you can wrap on it. And these are called residential cabinet doors. And what I mean by that is they're not 45 and waffle stapled here. They're actually what's called mortise and tenon, which is tongue and groove in cabinet lingo. Mortise and tenon pinned together so they don't fatigue in the corners as they age. These will last just like your residential cabinet doors do. All real wood. And not only does Wildcat utilize the raised panel real wood inserts on the upper cabinet doors, we do the same, as you can see here, on all of our lower cabinet doors as well. Where you see on many uh, competitors out there, they'll actually, on the lower cabinet doors, Instead of putting a real piece of wood there, they will actually insert a piece of paneling. And it's just a way to save money that Wildcat decides to provide a higher end quality cabinet door for the life of the coach. Now moving on through the galley area here, I'd like to just point out one time here that we have an eight cubic foot refrigerator that is standard on every Wildcat. This is a standard feature again and has large capacity inside, both the refrigerator 
And you can see we still have all of the paperwork in there for this new coach and the large freezer up top here. And by golly, that's working right now. We're plugged in and going. It's nice and cold in there. Now as we step into the, the comfort area, the living room, the first feature that jumps out is this 50-inch HD TV. Now this 50-inch HD TV in a Wildcat is standard on every Wildcat, and it fits on a double swivel TV mount, so it can be swiveled in any direction and allow for viewing anywhere that you prefer inside your coach. Now I'm going to push it over the side here and turn it away so you can see behind that we didn't waste our space back there. We actually utilized shelving on this side and shelving on the other side so you have storage there for DVDs or whatever you choose to put in behind the TV. So it's a nice secure area. When the TV goes back, it will actually keep it in place. And then as you travel, you actually have secure straps that you pull down and latch over the TV so it has no movement there. But that will allow all kinds of storage as well as viewing from everywhere inside the coach. Now, in this entertainment area, we don't incorporate our DVD player into our stereo. Our stereo is actually a separate component. So what we have provided here is a true residential style DVD player that hooks into your television. Now, not only does this hook into your TV, but it also plays through a standard feature in a Wildcat that's called the sound bar. Now, many of you know that the quality of the speakers in TVs uh, are pretty poor. They have a, a very shallow sound to them, so they don't have a good quality to their sound, especially when you're watching your movies, favorite movies and so forth. You want to have a real nice sound. This sound bar has a remote control, so you can turn the volume completely down on the TV. All of your sound, whether it's you're watching the news on a standard channel or watching your favorite movie, will play through this sound bar and with your remote you can control the bass, the treble, the volume and get the kind of sound that you're looking for and hear a true quality stereo sound inside your coach. Below here you'll see that we have a fireplace. This fireplace is not only a pretty uh, um, um, feature in the coach, it's a very functional feature in this coach. And what I mean by that is this is not Right now, we have it on just for the ambiance. It's just the light that we have in here. Again, this will come with a uh, remote control, so you can control it from the comfort of your theater seats across the room. But this is an electric heater as well that will warm up to 400 square feet. So on those cool mornings when you're having your coffee, you can have a little additional heat. When you're in those campgrounds that you pay one fee for, um, Instead of running your heater in your coach and using your LP, you can crank this up a little bit higher to have a little more warmth in here and use the electricity that you pay for during your camping fee. So it's a really, really nice feature to utilize in here. And then those, again, the days that you don't uh, need the heat, you can have it just for a soft light or an ambiance in here. Now, as you look across the back of the coach here, you can see that we have an extra wide three-seat sofa in here. And this is for the times when you have your company, your friends come over from adjoining campsites to, to uh, uh, talk about all their fun times that they had on their last camping trip. So you have plenty of seating here. And then I want you to also notice that on each side of the sofa, we provide a little end table there. The little end table there is to allow for a place for coffee cups, cocktail glasses, whatever you prefer. And then you'll notice that under each side of those end tables there is a 110 outlet and those 110 outlets are provided for those charging stations whether it be cell phones or whatever it may be and that is to uh, provide as much electrical outlets in the rear of the coach as we can for you. Across the back of the coach here every coach in, in this in, in a Wildcat or every Wildcat will come with LED exterior or interior lightings and this interior lighting you can see I'll turn it off and on here. This is an LED light and it has been on overnight in this coach and I'm touching this light and you can see that there's no warmth to it really to speak of whatsoever. Now I'd like to just tell you a little bit about LED lighting. Um, an LED light, and that's what we use throughout the entire coach. All of our ceiling lights, all of our under cabinet lights, even our decor lights in here are all LED. 
Just briefly, an LED light pulls 0.3 milliamps per light. What that means to you is that with every light turned on in this coach like we have in this, in this building today, this coach with every light turned on will pull less amperage than two double pancake lights, standard lights that we're used to seeing with incandescent bulbs. So if you're a dry camper and you've already learned how to trim your light usage to save your battery, you're going to absolutely love this. The next thing is that at each light we reduce the temperature by 100 degrees Fahrenheit using LED over incandescent bulbs. Now there are an abundance of lights in this coach right here. So in summer camping when your air conditioner is already working very hard to keep you cool in the heat that you're dealing with, it's not also trying to fight the heat from the lights to keep the interior of your coach cool. Because again, we've reduced every light by 100 degrees Fahrenheit in here. So your, your air conditioner is going to operate much, much more efficiently. And then the final thing about LEDs is they'll last 50 times longer than a standard incandescent bulb. Chances are during the ownership of, this, of a coach with LED lights, you'll never have to change a bulb. They're very wonderful. Now, as we move around, I'd like to point out in this coach that we have the large theater seating. And in these theater seatings, there are also there are recliners. They have drink holders, very comfort, comfortable. And then they also have a little console here so you can keep all your remotes in one simple location for your TV, for your fireplace, for your, your sound bar, all of it right here in one nice location, as well as your DVD player. And again, since we're on this side of the coach, I want to point out one more time that you can see that we utilize the real wood slide fascia in every Wildcat. No MDF, no foam, real wood here. It's going to last for you. As we move forward, you notice that um, we have a four chair freestanding table and chairs in here. And each of these chairs will move around um, so you can, you can actually play cards, dominoes, dine with your friends and so forth. So, and then in transit, there we actually have D-hooks in the carpet here so you can put straps on them and keep them in place so they won't move around. Very, very, very convenient. And lots of room for you in here. Now, moving forward, you can see again that the abundance of cabinet space that this, this floor plan provides to you. You actually also have right here a coat closet. And hidden up inside here, there are a couple of coat hooks, actually three of them. So you've got plenty of room for coats, umbrellas, whatever you may want to utilize inside this larger compartment here with extra storage above. And then more storage, of course, behind each of these doors for pantry storage or whatever you want to use this for. It has a, an abundance of storage in this coach. And of course, while we're here, I'm going to make a point of showing you this little feature. This is your AM FM stereo right here. Now, this is a Bluetooth compatible AM FM stereo. So if you have a smart device, a phone or a tablet with your music on it, it's a very simple sync. And then you can control volume and music that you prefer to listen to right through your smart device. It'll play both inside and outside speakers, and you can determine by the push of a button if you want only inside, only outside, or all of them that you can listen to. Again, this is not part of the TV entertainment center. This is a separate AM FM stereo, so you don't have them combined like you see in so many other coaches. As you move around here, I'm going to open up this one cabinet door here so that we can look behind it and see that we have our control panel hidden in here. Now the control panel here operates your interior lights. This control panel here operates a vent fan that's above the galley that will raise both the lid and turn the fan on so you can have an exhaust fan here in your galley in this coach. You have your awning, another light, and you have both you have you have two slides down here in the main compartment. Your off door side one and then your door side slide and you, each one of those are operated separately. Now this is a three slide coach. There's also a slide room up in the bed, in the bedroom. The slide that's up there is your wardrobe slide out. But you notice that the control for it is not down here. And we go to the bedroom, I'll show you that we've located that in a very convenient position where it should be in the bedroom. This is a feature here that is brand new for Wildcat. It's an information center. And this information center, this is a, an actual smart pad here that can be removed 
you can, if you have games that you want to load on, you can do whatever you want. It's your smart pad that comes with every Wildcat. But what this is now is an information center. It has your um, owner's manual on here. It has how-to guides on here. It has resource information, campground availability, uh, campground location, and so forth. So if you're moving from one location to another, you can actually find another campground on your pad. But the wonderful part about this is it's information on what it allows you to do. It will tell you everything from how to operate your awning, the push the button to extend, the push the button to retract, up to and including uh, how to change a a motor in a slide room if you chose to do so yourself. It shows manual operation of slide rooms. It shows the Dexter axles that we mentioned when we were outside earlier and the benefit that they provide. It, it talks about the, um, uh, the, the chassis that's in our coach. It, it actually gives you, it, it's, we, we're calling it an RV 101 type of uh, information center. It doesn't operate in a, any of the components on the trailer like awnings or stabilizing jacks or anything like that. It's strictly information. Now, I'm going to move on up here and give a chance to catch up, and I'm just going to kind of point into the, to the bathroom here so you can see that we're in a mid-profile fifth wheel that has a shower that you expect to see in a much larger, longer coach. This is a shower that provides enough room for anyone to be able to get in there and be able to move around in their shower rather than having to feel like they're pinned inside a small closet. It has a sliding glass doors to just give you that, that uh, more residential feel as well. But having this 40 inch shower in here provides a lot of room inside the coach for you. And then the, the uh, storage that's provided inside here is amazing. Towel storage and our medicine cabinet, if you notice in here, is not a, a plastic medicine cabinet. This is a piece of wood constructed medicine cabinet. So it's very strong and very durable. It's not something that uh, uh, I think you would be ashamed to show your friends uh, when they come in to use your restrooms. And then moving forward into the bedroom, the features that we have in here are just amazing. The first thing that I'd like to point out is the fact that in every Wildcat, we utilize a real, true, residential, queen-size mattress. And when I say real, true, residential, queen-size mattress, what I mean is this is a 60-inch wide, 80-inch long, standard residential queen mattress. Not the typical RV queen that we've seen for many, many years in here. And not only is this a true residential queen mattress, but the other part is, and I'm going to pull this up so you can see, this is a memory foam Denver mattress. It is something like you would never believe when you walk into an RV. And I invite you, when you walk into a Wildcat, lay down, sit down on this mattress, get the feel of it, and you'll be amazed as you go and shop other mattresses at the different, or excuse me, not other mattresses, but other brands of trailers at the style of mattresses that are used in so many others because this is a hidden feature here so if I don't point this out it doesn't do much good so I got to make sure that you see that we've got this here and then if you notice in here you've got nightstands on either side of this queen size bed and then we provide a 110 plug on each nightstand and we do that for charging cell phones uh, CPAP machines whatever may be needed up here not just one plug but two plugs. And then you can see above the bed, you can see two nice little blue lights, one on either side of the bed. Those are night lights, and I'm going to go forward and show you a feature that these little night lights provide. Now, I pushed them once, and it came on on the blue, but I'm going to push and hold this button and show you that you also have a reading light built in here. So you push it once, the night light comes on, push and hold a second time, the reading light comes on, you push it another time, of course it goes off. And the idea of having that soft blue light is you could leave one of these on at night in case you have to get up to make uh, a middle of the night trip to the restroom. In this area, I'm going to sit down on this nice mattress by the way, and turn toward the vanity here. 
and then I'm going to turn on this light so you can see that you've got a nice lit vanity here, large drawers again. This allows for the lady of the camp camper to have a place to keep all of her goods. Now, right above this, you can see that we've added another 110 plug. This 110 plug here is provided for hair dryers, curling irons, makeup mirrors, whatever may be needed in this area. So we wanted to add an additional outlet here for the ladies so they would have a location for their stuff. Very comfortable. Nice wardrobe here. And I'm going to show you this little feature. On this wardrobe, you've got a hang bar here, so you've got this nice wardrobe here, but you also have a drop-down shelf right there that if you decide not to use this as a wardrobe, you have additional storage here. Very nice feature to have this drop-down shelf right here handy like that. And the reason that we've done this is because right here at the end of this bedroom, there is another four-door wardrobe here. Now this wardrobe here, and I'm going to open all four doors, try to get them open as far as I can. This wardrobe here provides for hanging. There's a wardrobe up, uh, a hang bar up there, a shelf that will lift out if you don't want to use this as storage. The same below here, you have a shelf that lifts out. And in Wildcat, this feature is an exclusive feature today in a mid-profile fifth wheel. What this uh, exclusive feature is, is this is a washer-dryer prep closet. So here in this mid-profile 29RLX, if you wanted to put a combo washer-dryer in here, you can simply insert it in this lower cabinet and hook it up. You can keep the upper cabinet as storage or wardrobe. Or if you like, prefer to have the stackable washer dryer, all of this will come out and a true stackable washer dryer will fit inside this coach. Again, a mid-profile fifth wheel with a washer dryer prep, the only one in today's industry. Great feature. All your plumbing connections are all already in here for you, so it's already prepped for it. Okay. I mentioned as we were uh, looking at the control panel that I was going to show to you back here that we have the bedroom slide mechanism right here. This is the switch for it. So when you come up here, you move your wardrobe slide in and out from up here. So you can watch what you're doing, make sure that nothing's in its way or something hasn't fallen off the vanity and, and uh, lodged in, in a spot that was not convenient. So this is going to really work nice to be able to move it in and out from here in the bedroom. Very convenient. And then notice these, the bank of plugs that we have here. This is already uh, beefed and uh, already mounted. This is for your bedroom TV. Simply purchase your TV at your favorite local appliance or electronic store. Mount it here. And then you've got your plug. You, uh, for the 110, you have cable connection or antenna connection, and then you have satellite connection here in your bedroom. So you've got it all right here. Very convenient. Okay, I'm going to step back down. And one one final thing that I'd like to point out to you as an owner of a Forest River product, Forest River supports uh, a camper-friendly group, a family camper-friendly group that's called FROG, F-R-O-G, which stands for Forest River Owners Group. It's free to join. They have uh, many outings throughout the country. Uh, there's uh, either, you can either go online to, f to uh, com uh, complete the registration. Once you purchase your coach, we actually have a little card that comes with every coach if you prefer to fill it out and mail it in. They'll send newsletters. They'll send you, provide you information about when they're going to have camping get-togethers. They're very family friendly and everyone that I have spoken to that has been a member of the Frog family have absolutely loved being there. Now as the final note, I'd like to, to invite you to come to RV General and see every Wildcat available in today's market. Again, we're in the brand new, fully redesigned 2016 Wildcat. New colored exteriors, new colors on the inside of the coach, new features with the countertops, and so many great new features. 
and the, the folks at RV General would love to have you come and visit with them to see what all that they can offer you in today's brand new Wildcat. Thank you very much.